Hello. This is Aaron. This is Ted. Ted's a furball right now. And this is the Pens and Needles vlog. Um, I've got my tea. I hope that you are all doing well on this weekend. Um, so let's get to it. All right. Uh, I don't know about you. I've had a tough week. <laughs> But uh, I'm really looking forward to projects coming up. So one of those is, oh, sorry, Ted, is this right here. I am working on a little polar bear stuffy, that, a pattern that I found on Ravelry. I'll link that at the end. I'm also working on something that's pretty intricate, um, and Ted is sleeping on top of it. Let's see if we can maneuver. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Can I get behind you? Whoop! Can I get behind you again? Whoop! Oh, look at that. Oh, thank you. So, right here, I've got some lace weight yarn, and I am working on the pattern called a glow. And I'm a. The, that pattern's got a really great crescent shape to it, but I am just making it into a boring rectangle and I'm fine with that. Um, that's the, for the purpose that I want to use it for is to make a little mini shawl and so I wanted it to be symmetric and I'm just using the main chunk of the pattern for that. But I'm pretty excited. I haven't done anything in lace for a long time. So it should be good. You having a good day Ted? You having a good good day? Yeah. Oh boy. So some episodes that are coming up soon actually this book right here. Um, has inspired one. Observe, collect, draw is a really fun journal that will show you different ways to collect and then analyze and visualize your data. And so I came up with a way when I was inspired by that to collect and uh, measure your yarn stash and you know, present that visually. So I'll be sharing an episode on how to do that pretty soon. Um, also behind Ted on my reading list is ah, this behemoth called Knitting Comfortably. And Knitting Comfortably is a um, ergonomics of hand knitting book. And it's gonna be really helpful in making sure that I have the right posture and the right setup and environment so that knitting is as comfortable and stress-free as possible so I can keep knitting for as long as possible. And that's going to be helpful because I am starting a knit along challenge. You are all welcome to join me. This was um this was a special request by some of my viewers to do a knit along challenge. So if you would like to learn how to knit, I'm going to be coming out with a series of episodes all about how to knit. Um, we're going to be making a washcloth. Uh, I thought that would be a very useful item during this time, especially if you're left-handed. I think this will be a good um, tutorial because there's a lot of right-handed tutorials out there and there's not really a reason why. I mean, knitting can be done in, in either direction. So we're gonna be doing some left-handed knitting. I think it'll be fun. It's one of the reasons that I'm doing this knit along is because I am a big fan of craftivism. I don't know if any of you have heard that term. Um, I used to work at a museum where we had this really great activist gallery and it would be, you know, different activist movements throughout history, right? So one of the questions we'd ask people before coming in is what is an activist? Like, what does an activist do? And what strategies or tactics do they employ? Well, an activist is somebody who fights for change. And some of the tactics that they employ are taking to the New York City streets in marching and protests and that kind of thing. So I'm a really big fan of grassivism because I don't always have the energy or stamina to go and march out on the streets. Um, and my personality just really isn't in your face. So I enjoy supporting my causes in quieter ways. Um, so if there is a, a cause that you are that you care a lot about, um, think about some ways that you can bring attention to that using crafts and social media. Um, I'm going to link some fellow craftivists uh, as well to give you some inspiration. But for this make along challenge, I am challenging you to think of something that you want to represent, something you want to fight for, 
um, and put it into craft form. Um, so if if that's writing words on top of your knitting, if it's embroidery, if it's painting, you know, whatever it is that you do, uh, you're welcome to share in the comment section and encourage others and we'll we'll do something together. So uh, if you're interested in craftivism, I encourage you to try crafting along uh, to support a cause that you care about. If you're still figuring out, that's fine. You can just join in and learn the skills and use them later for something that you care about. But um, yeah, I think now is the time to try craftism if you haven't tried it before. Oh, and there's going to be some uh, episodes on the pens side of the channel. I'm gonna do some quick draws. So you'll see um, just some sketches that I put together, but I'll speed them up <laughs> so that it's a little, a little easier to watch. All right, well, thanks so much for joining the vlog. Wanna say bye, Ted? Yeah. And we'll see you next week. All right, bye.